I just spent 11 hours on a plane coming from Los Angeles to here, and I noticed some really stupid things flight attendants say. Maybe you heard this before. Flight attendant on my plane said, your plane is pressurized for your comfort. It's not really pressurized for your comfort. It's pressurized for your brains so don't come squirting out your head. <laughs> Pillows and blankets are there for your comfort. You've never been sitting on the plane, have your brain just go, just shoot out. You're hitting that emergency button. Excuse me, I'm not comfortable. <laughs> Also, I'm sitting in the emergency aisle, and the flight attendant came bopping over, and she looked at me, and then she walked away. And I was like, hey, 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 what's going on? She said, well, there's certain people who are not allowed to sit in the emergency aisle, and I just wanted to make sure you weren't one of them. I don't think it would. You have their photographs in a photo album or something? What she explained to me was there's certain people, elderly people are not allowed to sit in the emergency aisle. Children under 12 are not allowed to sit in the emergency aisle. Handicapped people are not allowed to sit in the emergency aisle. I didn't know this. Obese people are not allowed to sit in the emergency aisle. Who makes this decision if you're obese or not? I mean, you know you're a couple of pounds overweight. You've dealt with that all your life. You don't need somebody stamping that on your damn boarding pass, do you? That's cold-blooded, man. That's like, obese. Oh, man. Now everybody knows. It's just water. Also, people who do not speak English are not allowed to sit in the emergency aisle, which makes a lot of sense. Because you don't want your plane to crash, and you're sitting there going, Open the door! Open the door! <laughs> Uh, it's good being here, though, because even though you do drive on the other side compared to America, at least you have miles per hour. First time I was in Canada, they have kilometers, and I didn't know this. I'm in, this, I'm in America doing 55 miles an hour. The moment I get to the border, first thing I see is a sign that says 110. <laughs> I'm flying down the expressway. All of a sudden, I see a sign that says slow to 80. Children crossing. <laughs> Thinking, that's the least I can do. Those kids can't run that fast. <laughs> Last time I was in Canada, I went hunting with a friend of mine. I don't know how many people hunt, but there they hunt. When they hunt the male deer, they spray doe juice on themselves. Doe juice. Doe a deer, female deer, juice, folks. You figure this out. I don't even know where they get doe juice from. You get it from some bear in the wood? Yo, man, I got doe juice right here. What you need? Doe juice right here. They spray this on themselves to attract the male deer. Just what you want, 300 pounds of horny deer coming after you. You're walking through the woods wearing old day doe, spreading your pungent aroma around. There's some big deer going, I'm going to make you my doe. <laughs> I hunt. I've been hunting now for about five years. I'm not that good at it, but I enjoy it. I don't hunt deer. I, I hunt cows. I do it just to see the look on their faces. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a cow! I'll give you milk! You smell like doe juice! <laughs> Some people go hunting, they hunt d ducks. Duck hunting, I think, is the stupidest sport in the world. I would never participate in any sport. you got to stand in three feet of water at 6.30 in the morning doing this. <laughs> I could have stayed home in bed and made that noise. I had to go. Thank you very much.